gentlemen, this is our triple threat match for the ECWA Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers. First, led to the ring by referee Phil Sly. Combined weight of 521 pounds from Atlanta, Georgia, the Napalm Bomb, and from Baltimore, Maryland, Solo, introducing the Legion of Destruction. John, I got to tell you, when I first saw the D-line come out here, I saw black eyes come out, and I said, that's an intimidating guy. And then Body Snatcher came out, and I said, uh, that's an intimidating guy. And now that I see these two men, Napalm Bomb and Solo, of the LOD come out here, Napalm Bomb walks out, and I'm like, that, that's really an intimidating guy. And then Solo comes out, and I just have no words. The last time we were here, Solo, German suplex, Apollyon. What? Twice. That's all you need to know about Solo. He, German suplex, Apollyon, twice. Can you, can you warn me if Solo makes his way toward the commentary table, if I'm looking at, like, something else? Whatever planet, so look, when you look at R2, there's an aesthetic to him, right? Solo is not just the aesthetic. He does things that are incredible, and he makes them look easy. It's just, even if, even if I were the fans, I wouldn't be, you know, mocking this guy and yelling at him. Introducing challengers number two at a combined weight of 536 pounds. First, from the compound, Apollyon, and from South Australia, Breaker Moran. So, by point of comparison, Solo, German Soup collects Apollyon twice. Apollyon threw all caution to the wind and hurled himself through the ropes at full speed onto everybody in his match. These, uh, these men have no fear of anybody or anything, do they? No. I think if, if you told me, if you put a gun to my head and said, you have to get in the ring with at least with only one of any of the six men in this match, I would do three things. I would cry, I would soil myself, and I would get shot in the head. Worth noting, this might be the best part of this match. The smallest man in this match is Breaker Moran. The former TWA heavyweight champion is the smallest man in the match! That's obscene! That's unheard of! He's like 235 and he's the smallest man in a match! I mean, you look at... 
you know, just because before he joined the LOD, Napalm Bomb was in, you know, not huge highlight matches, you know, not huge main event matches, doesn't mean he's not intimidating. Introducing from Washington, D.C., at a combined weight of 525 pounds, black ice and body snatcher, they're the current ECWA Tag Team Champions, ladies and gentlemen, D-Line! Now, after what you told me about Solo and about Apollyon, please don't tell me that somehow last month Body Snatcher choke slammed four guys at the same time. Um, Though I wouldn't be surprised if you did. Not quite, but I do recall him choke slamming a rather large human being. Look, folks, if you love catch it, catch it, can. Tactical, Hero Resu, Lucha Wrestling. Skip this match because this will not be that. This Although they shouldn't because the commentary is going to be phenomenal. Oh, absolutely. This match is going to be can your best beat my best when both of our best involve two very large men going at one another. This is pure test of will. This is strength on strength. I... I don't understand how, I mean, even when, when Apollyon and, let's say, you know, Apollyon and Breaker Morant alone are in the ring, I don't understand how the ring can hold that. That's a lot of weight, and that's a lot of person, human being. But six guys, 200-plus pounds, you got a, a couple 300-plus pounds. You know, like, how? how? How much, what is the capacity, the maximum capacity for that ring? Enough. Well, enough. It, it, just enough. I mean, I can almost hear the, the metal creaking from here. I don't think it's creaking. I think it's screaming. It's crying out in agony. It's like the buttons on my shirt. Well, John Finnegan, best of luck to you, sir, as you try to corral this beef. I don't think it's going to happen. And there you see the stare down between the Legion of Destruction and D-Line. A little bit of a shoving match between Body Snatcher and Solo. I'll tell you one thing, for somebody who's in constant pain right now, Phil Sly is moving around quite a bit on the outside of the ring. You see him dancing around, mocking the crowd. I thought your neck hurt. John Fagan will get the tag rope ready. And it appears we are gonna go three at a time. Oh goody, this will be fun. See Breaker Morant. Looks like Breaker and Body Snatcher are teaming up here against uh, Napalm Bomb. Big clubbing blows to open up the contest on the Napalm Bomb by Body Snatcher and Breaker Morant. Again, it just baffles me. Breaker Morant, the former TWA heavyweight champion, is the smallest person in this match. I can say that out loud, and it still ceases to amaze me. You know, as uh, as much as I know Breaker Morant had a little bit of a change of heart, you know, a change of black heart, if you will, but, uh, you know, if I had to make a deal between Body Snatcher and Breaker Morant, if there was anybody who I would sit there and say, ah, this guy might kind of hit me while I'm not looking. I still don't completely trust Breaker Morant. I don't think you ever completely trust Breaker Morant because Breaker Morant, at the end of the day, has a track record of doing what's in his best interest. And if your interest... Oh, my goodness! Enormous double hip toss! This goes to show that uh, my how accurate my, uh, my question of how is this ring going to handle these guys... How accurate it is because these, they almost back body dropped him through the ropes. Through the ropes, he almost landed in the front row. 
All right, Solo's coming this way. Oh, and here comes oh boy. Body Can Snatcher, and here comes Breaker Morant. Can they go that way? Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm oh, sorry. no, 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 no. I have seen this before. I have seen this exact scene, and the man on the apron has a crazy thought going through his head. He does. I know, because I've seen it. You can see you it can, percolating. You can you can hear the... Uh, you can hear the wood, what, what, what is the saying? You can hear the wood, uh, the, the gears turning. The gears turning and the... And apparently this time discretion will be the better part of Valor, but I swear, for a moment, Apollyon thought of a reprisal of the Flying Dutchman routine. Well, I was trying to watch what was happening between um, pretty much everybody outside of here, but Solo was in my way. So oh, no, wait, really wait, 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 Napalm Bomb's back in the ring. He's sizing it up. Fly, oh. big man, fly! It is a absolute airplane crash out here. Oh, come on. Uh-oh, Apollyon is in the ring. No, I've seen this before. I'm giddy with anticipation and nauseous all the same because I know it's going to end really badly. Now, how sturdy is that entranceway there, that, that front stage? Not, thing? it's not. Not even remotely close. This is not good. This is not good. Oh, but Solo wow. cuts him off at the pass. But wait a minute, Breaker Morant. Are you kidding? Looks like Breaker Morant. Is this, is this gonna what do I think it's going to be? Oh, oh my God! He uses Apollyon as a step up and flips to the outside, are you kidding? And now it's Solo, and Apollyon once more squaring off in the ring. And you said Solo, German suplex? Is that what you said, German suplex? Twice. Apollyon twice. Twice. Now you know if I would have attempted to even uh, push Apollyon, I would have gotten like 17 hernias. Now Black Ice in the ring, he goes after Solo. There's all the various Lego parts that went flying go back to their respective corners. Did I mention I wish John Finnegan luck in keeping order? Yes, and uh, I think he could use a little bit more. Now it's Black Ice and Apollyon working over Solo. Now send him over into the corner. Now I wonder if let's say, because they've been in the ring right now, you got... I wonder, you got Apollyon, you got Black Eyes, and you have Solo. Now, if let's say Apollyon said, you know what, I'll let the D-line go after him. Now, all tags are legal in this match. So if Apollyon were to turn around, he could potentially tag Body Snatcher in. Is that correct? I have no idea. Or is this one of those strictly you tag your own partner? Eh, we'll find out when we get there. Oh, God! 400 plus pounds of humanity and a big... Fine, Buster, cover. And there's the dynamic that makes this match so perilous for everyone. Partners one moment, collaborators one moment. It looks like a Polyon star. Oh, enemies the next. And now you see Napalm Bomb trying to interject himself, but. Now I'm guessing my question, the answer would be a no because otherwise that's potentially a tag between yeah. Black Eyes and uh, Napalm Bomb. Now Black Eyes going after Apollyon. I've asked my share of stupid questions for the night. For a career, in fact. Breaker Morant sent to the floor. Solo starting to knock people around. Black Eyes, big forearms on Apollyon. Now this kind of all started between Black Eyes and Apollyon. Kind of all started because Apollyon broke up the count and then pretty much looked at Black Eyes and said, sorry man, this is for the belts. We want the belts. Like I understand you, you want to take out the LOD, but we kind of both have the same goal here. Are you oh. kidding? Are you kidding me? Oh, it didn't last. But for a mere moment, uh-oh. Here comes a retort. Nope. He and fights out. Oh, Unreal wow. strength. Two. And a half, Solo breaks the count. I believe Apollyon also got a shoulder up of black ice. 
And just to remind you, this is not an elimination match. This is one fall to a finish. Solo now a cover. And Body Snatcher in to break the count. Because obviously, if it was an elimination match, big boot there by the Napalm Bomb on Body Snatcher. Most of these counts would not have been broken. And now it's just Napalm Bomb. And Phil Sly home. again up on the Get apron. Get down, Phil Sly! Get down! You're not even a competent manager. I'm sorry. I just get really mad when I see him. Oh, wait a minute. What is going on? That's a chair in the ring. Napalm Bomb and Solo of a chair. And they oh, drive a polyon face first into the steel. But Phil Sly. Oh, and a big spear by Black Ice on Napalm Bomb. Solo's up and body snatch and with that's out of the chair. The chair. <laughs> Phil Sly pulls the chair out to protect his own interest, but now the opening clearly for the champions. Breaker Morant still woozy on the outside. I don't know if he'll be able to save Apollyon. Oh, they're lined up. Three-point stance. They've got it squared up. And there Double it is. Spear. Cover. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, 16 minutes, 11 seconds. Your winners and still... ECWA Tag Team Champions, Body Snatcher and Black Eyes, Eli! In a weird way, give the assist to the Legion of Destruction. They took Apollyon out the first time, then the Stereo Spears by the Champs take out the Legion of Destruction, and it gives them the opening to pin Apollyon Breaker Morant, just a moment too far away, unable to break the count. The champs retain. I'll tell you, D-Line has survived some pretty fierce challenges in their time here in the ECWA atop the heap as tag team champs. Well, as tag team champs, defending against either one of these teams individually and defeating them is a feat in itself. But both of them at the same time, that's, that's really something to, to behold and really something you know, you can you can hang your hat. You can you know. I'm, I'm I'm at a loss for for words and phrases here on how amazing this is that D-line was able to conquer not one but two huge powerful tag teams. Well, they retain the belts tonight. We'll have to see who's next in line to challenge. But they have survived the Legion of Destruction. They have survived Apollyon and Breaker Morant. Speaking of Apollyon and Breaker, they're the lone team up. Hey, wait a minute! Wait a minute! That's Polo the Young Nation. and Takatana. You're absolutely right. The Asian Nation, with from uh, I guess another Pearl Harbor attack here, and the Nunchucks with Bolo Young, and now Takatana to the high rent district, singling out Apollyon here. Big splash on the Feld Beast. Might this be a message to D-Line and the rest of the tag team division? They won earlier tonight, and then they come out and clean up like buzzards, like vultures. And twice tonight now, attacking their opponents, not even their opponents this time, but attacking from behind. I mean, it's really, is that just what, I mean, it, it sounds terrible, but is, is that what Asians do? Is that how they attack? I mean, the Japanese did it 72 years ago, and the Asian nation did it twice tonight. Well, regardless of the answer to your question, clearly, Bolo Young and Kai Katana have come strong tonight. They are making it clear that they will be heard. They will be recognized here in the ECWA as legitimate contenders for those tag team belts. Meanwhile, the waist laid, Breaker Morant just back to his feet, Apollyon, still splayed out in the ring. It's going to take a minute to clean up the carnage. When we do clean up the carnage, we have a main event tonight. We've danced around it. We'll lay it out for you before we start. A career on the line, a title reign in the balance, the longest in the history of this company. Something's got to give, and it will, and it comes up next. 